Okay, talk about scars and, bur and burn scars. Um, obviously, you've got a lot of press, um, well-deserved press, and, oh, and we've been following the burn triplet story, yeah. uh, you know, for months. I mean, I think we actually published it before it came out on the Today Show. Oh, great, great. And so we were, you know, we were running in parallel with that. So we've been on the first page of Google Board this whole time, and we get thousands of freaks. Yeah. Um, so you're like our hero. Wow. And no, so, you know, now we want to talk about technologies, not necessarily brands, sure. but technologies uh, for treating scars, and, and if they're treatable on patients of color. Right. Well, first of all, you know, the scar stuff is very exciting right now, and I really see it moving in kind of two directions. Um, scar prevention, one of the neatest things is that a fetus in utero doesn't form scars, and so we know that there's a model that exists for no scars. So if I did surgery on you tomorrow and could do something to it like that baby, so we might have a scarless wound. So I'm doing some work right now at University of Miami to try to prevent scars from forming or to fix them immediately. So I think there's some, there's some real advantages in that arena. Um, that we're just starting to get into and there's some European studies on lasers that actually interrupt the scar process and so therefore um, that stuff's going on. Now, interestingly enough this morning Dr. McDaniels talked about photomodulating scars with the LED. This is the first time he's, I've heard that presented where as the scar is forming you would change its shape and what it's doing. So that's exciting. And then the work that I've been doing and, and many colleagues around the world for the last five years is once you have a scar, how do we improve it? And so the lasers, and especially the fractional lasers, have been pivotal for that. And um, the answer is yes, you can treat um, skin of color. Um, I know personally I treat all Fitzpatrick skin types one through six um, with certain lasers and with more conservative parameters. So you probably have an arsenal of tools that you're yeah. using, and then you're not, it's not one laser in particular no. that ends up working as you're going through different parts of the, the body or the, or the, the scar. Uh, it's a, a uh, arsenal. It is. So it is. It I always I call it combination treatment, and mm -hmm. I approach. I was an art history minor, so I uh, I approach each scar like a work of art. And so what I always do is uh, fractional is really kind of the beginning stages because you're really trying to make a thick scar thinner or an, a thinner scar thicker, and a red scar less red and a brown scar less brown. And so you have to kind of look at what your goals are with that patient in that location for that scar. And so you might start out with the stronger, more powerful, forceful lasers, and then when they come back, you look at the before and after pictures, and then you might just start finesse it a little bit. And I do a lot of surgery. I do um, deplasties and excisions in combination. And so because the burn scars especially are so complicated, it does take a combination approach. How many treatments, you know, on somebody that has severe scarring, I mean, how yeah. many treatments are they, would they be looking at? My average burn patients, and of course, there's a spectrum from first degree to third degree, but the average third degree, fairly severe patient is um, anywhere from two to five treatments. So not too bad, really. It's the ablative fraction lasers has made a big difference. They're a lot more powerful. They ablate tissue and they remove the bad scar in a very organized way so new healthy skin heals in. So they've been a, a great uh, supplement to our artillery that we have to treat scars. And th how long is the process from the time that you, s that you do the treatments till they would see their, their final results? Yeah, and this is probably one of the toughest things we have, you know, in our generation of instant gratification. A lot of our lasers and, of course, fillers can give instant gratification. Scars aren't like that. Um, I'll show a slide this afternoon in my presentation that shows I tell every patient, it give me a year. Um, collagen remodeling, which is right now what we are thinking is the Im one of the most important mechanisms of action, is you know to build up this new healthy collagen, takes anywhere from three to six months. But I've had patients that I've treated one time and they improve for a whole year. So I usually say, let's give me a year. And if you look, I have several sequences of one month follow-ups. You start to really see it around month three to four. And that's doing treatments every eight weeks or so. And it just gets better from that. The good thing about lasers is each treatment patients get better. I haven't seen a plateau effect, meaning.